Welcome back to my kitchen guys. Today I'll be making me some callaloo and salt fish in my kitchen the Jamaican way. Callaloo and salt fish is one of my favorite Jamaican breakfast recipe. I would normally have this on a Sunday morning with some fried dumpling and some nice Milo tea. So guys, if you want to learn this delicious recipe, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more cooking videos. Let's get this process started, guys. I have all my ingredients here. First, I've got my callaloo right here. I got it at my local supermarket, which is also like a Jamaican supermarket. You could get this at the Caribbean Isle in your, soup, in your local supermarket or you could use the one in the can. And I'm gonna show you guys how I clean and cut my callaloo from start to finish. I just purchased it, guys. I've got my tomato right here. I've got me some sweet peppers right here and I'm using green, orange, and a little piece of yellow just to give it that little blending colorful color. I've got my carrot right here scotch bonnet pepper scallion onion you cannot make your color without some tell me what is guys some salt fish right here this is the boneless salt fish i'm scared of bone so i'm going to use the boneless one today i mean i'm going to show you guys how to cook on a salt fish i have some little seasoning here so if you get a little taste like a flavor all purple seasoning and you cannot do it with your little black pepper to give it that little extra flavor and taste. You know, so you have to put a little thyme in on your callaloo. I've got my country crock butter. A lot of people cook callaloo and salt fish different. So I'm going to do it my way. And I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to add some butter in it. And I'm going to show you guys how it's actually done let's get this process started we are gonna start the process guys of removing the excess salt from our salt fish take a look it's really salty so come on let's wash our salt fish all righty guys we're gonna add some cold water to this pot and we're gonna cook our salt fish for 10 minutes time so see you back in 10 minutes time All right, guys, so now we are going to cut up our callaloo. There is an outer layer of strips on the callaloo. We want to remove all of that outer strip on the callaloo before we start cutting it up. Look at it closer, guys. We are going to remove all of that because we want our callaloo to look nice like this right here. You're all finished. And just take a look on my callaloo. It's all stripped and ready for me to wash. But before we wash our callaloo, I want to show you guys all the strips, the string, all of the outer layer from my callaloo. Look at it, guys. Make sure you remove all of that. So now we are going to wash our callaloo. To get your color loop cut up nicely, you want to fold all the edges in like this and just slightly press down and cut gentle. And voila, take a look at that. Perfectly cut the way how I want it to be. Ooh la la, take a look at my color loo in my kitchen. It's all cut up nicely and ready for me to wash. And I'm going with it my vegetable apple cider vinegar. This helps to remove all the dirt particles and all the little insect that is on my color loo. You know, it's vegetable and vegetable attract a lot of insect. So guys, I'm going to wash this two times to ensure that it's clean and ready for eating. My callaloo is looking all cleaned and nice and ready for me to move on to the other process. So guys, wait no more. We are going to bubble up some callaloo and salt fish. 
Over here, I'm going to prepare my veggies and my spices to go in my callaloo. But first, we have to give it that nice wash before we cut it up to put in the bad boy. Guys, without all of this niceness right here, your callaloo is not going to taste like the Jamaican authentic callaloo and salt fish. So make sure you add all of this niceness right here. Look at all this colorful veggies and spices right here. I cannot wait to saute this bad boy right here. We're gonna put this aside and we're gonna drain off the water from my salt fish. My salt fish is finished cooked and I'm just gonna run this under some tap water before I pick it up in bits. Guys, my salt fish is cooked. Look at that and ready for me to break apart. Even though it says boneless salt fish, it has a couple tiny bones inside of it. So you want to ensure that you check for those tiny bones before you add it to your callaloo. This is what your salt fish should look like after you finish breaking it apart. We're going to go over and we're going to add some oil to our pot. Please make sure your oil is heated before you add your seasoning to your pot. We're going to use half of this seasoning right now to start the process of steaming my callaloo. And then when our callaloo is steaming down, we're going to add this remainder to give it that presentable look. We're just going to give this a start and we're going to leave this for four to five minutes until everything becomes transparent. So see you guys back in four to five minutes. And voila, we are back. Take a look at my seasoning. All looking nice and ready for my salt fish. And I'm just going to go in with my salt fish. And I'm just going to give this a nice start. Making sure everything is combined together properly. Before I add my callaloo. Now I'm going with my callaloo. Please ensure that you give this a nice stir, making sure everything is combined together properly. Going in with one teaspoon of butter and also going with my fresh thyme. Going in with one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of all-purpose powdered seasoning, this helps to give my callaloo added flavor and taste. Going in with the remainder of my seasoning. Mm -mm -mm. I cannot wait to dig in this bad boy right here. Please don't forget your scotch bonnet pepper. And I'm just going to cover this up and see you guys back in 5 minutes time. In the meantime, my callaloo is steaming down. I'm just going to go over here and give you guys a peek on my fried dumpling. Can't go wrong with some fried dumpling and callaloo in the making. Now we are back checking on our callaloo. Everything looks like it's done at the moment. So we're just giving this a start. So let me just give this a taste test. So guys, we need to adjust the flavor where necessary. So I'm just going to go in with some salt. Please make sure you constantly stir your callaloo because you don't want your callaloo to be sticking to the pot. Going in with the last taste test, making sure everything is flavorful and tasting nice. Mm -mm -mm. This is everything. So I'm going to leave this for another two minutes time on low heat. And then when that two minutes time is up, we're gonna come back and we're gonna dig in together. And voila, we are all finished guys. And now I'm gonna turn my stove off 
and then we're gonna put this on a plate and then it's time for us to dig in together A moment of silent guys and just take a look at my colorloo and my salt fish in my kitchen look how colorful everything just blended in together nicely all my veggies and my spices mm -mm -mm. i definitely cannot wait to dig in this bad boy right here mm -mm -mm. i'm so speechless at the moment alongside i have me some fried dumpling you cannot go wrong with some fried dumpling with this recipe right here so if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to subscribe hit the like button and also please do not forget to comment and tell me what you love about this delicious recipe and also guys please do not forget to turn your notification button on so you don't miss out any video that we post and lastly guys make sure you comment below and tell me what you want to see me cook again in my kitchen this is your girl jody thank you so much for watching and i hope you try this at home and tell me how it tastes bye guys